What I get asked a lot by golfers is, how should a proper backswing look like? Now, the backswing can look different for all kinds of different reasons, uh, and it does at the end of the day. But uh, for the beginners out there who want to start working on a backswing and start building on a proper good solid backswing, here's a simple way of doing it. Now, what I've done is, I've actually placed, uh, this is a lineman stick, but you can also use a club, and I placed it about a foot inside the golf ball here, okay? Now from setup, I would like you to start doing for me the following. We are going to start the takeaway by, if I'm just going to show you, by the triangle forming between my shoulders and my arms. That's going to start the takeaway for me, okay? Because that just gives us a good rotation into the backswing. So from here, we're going to start the takeaway by turning the triangle into the backswing slowly but surely and as soon as you get the club about parallel with the ground I need the following reference points one using the alignment so you've got the club on the ground one you're going to see my hands are slightly inside the club head that's really important you do not want the club head to go inside your hands okay so you're going to turn that triangle for me turn the upper body into the backswing and make sure your hands are slightly inside the club head what you're also going to see is there's a slight wrist hinge here and the club face is almost at a 45 degree angle. Again, don't want it open. Okay, so that's what I would like you to do. And you have to do this a few times to get used to the motion of the body as well as setting the club in the correct place. And again, you can use the reference point on the ground to see if your hands are actually inside the club face. So let's do that again. We're going to turn and stop and just make sure everything's in line. Do that a few times for me and just check your reference point. Club face hands and body rotating at once. But now from there, we need to get the club to the top. <coughs> and again, I get this asked a lot. When should you wrist, uh, hinge your wrists? Where, what should what right elbow do? What should the left arm do? Now, we need a little bit of wrist hinge when we go into the backswing. And again, it's gonna be different for different people. But the rule of thumb is, as we take the club back and you hold the club light enough, the following will happen. As you get in proper backswing or takeaway position, your right arm is actually going to fold upwards, like answering a telephone. And the next thing is going to happen, you, you just have to keep rotating your body while doing it. And if you do that properly, you are going to see that your wrist is also going to start hinging. Okay? If we do that at once, right arm, keep turning, and wrist hinge. There we go. If so we go from takeaway, from the setup position again, right arm, turn and hinge. Now what's going to happen is you get in a really nice backswing position here and you can feel a nice stretch on the left side of your torso. Now let's try and do that again in two sections first. We got takeaway, reference points, good, then fold and turn, fold and turn. Now you have to get used to do that in two sections first. And then after that what you can do is you can start working in one flowing motion. Now that will look as follow. There we go. Just keep doing that. And even if you have a mirror behind you, so if you have a mirror down the line, you can actually also have a look at your hands and have a look at the club face and have a look actually what the backswing looks like and then you can associate with a, with a feeling. And then that makes it a bit easier to learn as well. So by doing this over time, you can start working on a consistent and start working on building a consistent backswing, which will definitely help you to deliver the club better into the ball.